This is a $1 microphone. And this is a $1,000 professional microphone. And this is literally a microphone. Not relevant, but look how cute. Can I make this and other popular microphones at different price points sound as good as this using AI? So I was walking past my neighbor's garage sale and I saw this microphone for $5. I offered him a buck and like any good negotiator, he said, just take it. Using this portable sound booth, I'm recording clips from both microphones and you can tell the $1 microphone doesn't sound great. But once I use AI to enhance it, it sounds much better but it's still no comparison to this. These are the price points of all the popular microphones I'm testing, and let's see how much money I have to spend before I can match the quality of this using AI. Now, these are not the same type of microphone. The lavalier has an omnidirectional sound pattern, and the shotgun mic is closer to a hypercardioid pattern. So they really won't sound the same, which is why up next is the cheapest shotgun mic I could find on Amazon. It's called the Focus Photo, and according to the reviews, it's okay for the price. But when we flip on the AI, it actually sounds a little better than okay. In fact, can you tell which is which? Speaking of AI, there are a few different free options to enhance your audio using the robots, but today I'm using Adobe's Enhanced Speech, which promises to make everything sound as if it was recorded in a professional studio. Everything. Hmm. In order to test that out, I'm gonna spin the wheel of unfortunate audio. Wind. Up next is a popular $49 microphone I've used for a long time. It's great for attaching to the top of your camera for vlogging or run and gun shooting because it's so small and lightweight and it doesn't require anything but a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's called the Rode Video Micro and there's even a newer version for an extra $30. If you're in search of a microphone for the top of your camera but looking for a step up, there are two which I really like. The Sennheiser MKE 400 and the Rode Video Mic Pro. They both sound very good up close with an ideal distance at around two feet. But the main disadvantage of these types of microphones is that if you want to keep them on top of your camera, as soon as you get a bit further back, you start to bring in all the room noise and it quickly starts sounding like a Christopher Nolan movie. What do we better put out the hole before the boom goes off, thing? What? Now, you could spend a bunch of money treating your room to dampen the noise, but why do that when we have AI? In fact, when the Rode video mic started to lose quality at about four feet in this untreated room, I flipped on the AI. I was able to get good sounding footage all the way up until about eight feet. Even better, the Sennheiser retained good quality up until about five feet, but with the AI, that extended all the way to nine feet, pretty far away. Instead of far away, what if you want a microphone to be up close? This is the $329 DJI microphone, and I've been using it nearly every day since it came out. I love its versatility, but its sound is like eating dominoes. It gets the job done in the moment, but afterwards you don't feel great about it. But Adobe's Enhanced Speech AI promises to increase clarity by sharpening your voice's frequencies. So back to the wheel of unfortunate audio. We have a bunch of new options here. Let's go. Oh, mouthful of Tic Tacs. Coca-Cola flavored. The best part about the DJI mic is that it comes with two transmitters and a receiver that can be used by themselves or with a lavalier. And for the most part, all you have to do is plug it in and start recording. Did that work? Oh, my breath is so fresh. Last up is probably the most popular podcast microphone out there, the Shure SM7B. If you don't mind having a microphone in your frame, this may sound just as good or better than the Sennheiser already. But can I enhance it even more? When I turn on the AI, well, it actually sounds worse. It loses some of the richness and comes off a bit unnatural, which is fine if you have a good microphone in a treated room, you shouldn't need AI to fix anything. But if you're using a budget mic or have some less than ideal recording scenarios, like the wheel of unfortunate audio, AI might help save you. So did the AI make any of these less expensive microphones sound as good as this or this? Let me know your favorite mic by texting me at 555-0100. It may take me seven to nine business days to reply because my fingers are too fat. And if you want to learn the best way to spend your money on all sorts of camera gear, click here. All right, dominoes.